Hello, boys and girls, welcome back to Factorio. Where last time we tried our hands at uh, creating a rail grid that's uh, tileable. I did not entirely manage that in the last episode, but in the meantime, I have it figured out. We had the, the roundabout. Uh, we also had the four segments, the, the two horizontal and the, and the two vertical. And it's two segments each because uh, the layout is not square, so they have an offset. So that means they have a different offset if they are placed above or below the roundabout respectively left or right and this also poses a problem if we want to have a blueprint for the whole section um, does not really work out that well so we have the whole square split in two we have the the top left part and the bottom right part and these are tileables and we have a blueprint that's not snapping to grid with the whole thing uh, in there and what I did not think about last time is I just placed it here randomly uh, but uh, basically if we then go and uh, take for example this one we can see how that would snap and goes right through the oil field, right through the iron field there. Uh, copper there is okay, this iron is okay, uh, this coal here is okay. Um, and eventually we cannot avoid that our train line goes through some ore fields. But I think this um, oil field down here is rather important. We do have more of the of the other ore fields, but let's try and basically have this oil field uh, inside this square, and then have everything uh, going uh, on side so aligning everything around this this oil field here and for that let's turn back on the grid by the way uh, to bring this debug settings up that's uh, f4 and we still want to align the things uh, based on the grid so basically here we will have the, the horizontal one and then there probably the uh, vertical one and we will use this one here right and then we have to adjust all the the blueprints so that they match to this grid here and what we want to do in today's episode is not really uh, focusing on a setup um, towards uh, our science production but rather um, if we have a look uh, it looks like our central area that's really an impact crater with all these circular cliffs going around and as we want to lay out a rail grid sooner or later we'll run into those cliffs so we need a bit of uh, cliff explosives and cliff explosive means uh, we need uh, coal, um, iron and steel, uh, well steel is just processed iron, um, 
uh, we also need the uh, explosives themselves that's more coal water and sulfur and sulfur of course means oil processing so what we need here um, and this will be the first setup that we actually do uh, in this manner is um, here probably it will just uh, uh, collect the oil uh, move it to somewhere close where we can process it then move the processed oil uh, to yet another place where we then also bring in coal and iron ore and then we can uh, create our cliff explosives there but that's probably uh, uh, more that we then we can manage in one episode so let's just get uh, started here uh, and uh, I will first adjust the, the blueprints so they line up with uh, with this new square here uh, so we can actually make use of those i have gone ahead and placed in the uh, first square here and it's time like this i really long for uh, construction robots not so much for placing everything down but to remove the, the trees and other obstacles that we have here. And we also have um, the uh, blueprints adjusted. Actually, I only needed to adjust the offsets on these two. All others were good, uh, maybe they switched around in in their usage but they still snapped to, to the right spot so in order to proceed here we will take this one and let's go to here and do that And that should give us an idea how we need to proceed here. There we have uh, an issue with, with cliffs, uh, but I don't think we need that route uh, down there. Um, this one. There we have an issue. But for the time being, we could just uh, have uh, the thing going straight across there. Um, probably we want to have uh, the ones down here as well. And then here we just add the, the missing roundabout. And let's finish this off here. Here we can go. And then down here we see we have we have coal. So we have iron up here, we have coal down there, we have the uh, We have the oil there, and that should be good uh, from what we need as a as a next step. Right, nice run about here, and we will not worry about uh, the, the mining setup or how we, uh, we load things 
uh, probably we will have I mean this is right under the rail but we can we can deal with that I'm sure uh, and here these going down we don't need at the moment but we we actually want to make sure that we can get around places uh, even if some of the routes are blocked due to uh, to cliffs and uh, I think from the input materials we are pretty good we have iron we have coal we have oil so all that's missing is actually the water for the for the processing and for all processing we need um, water anyway so that will be up here um, actually let's take this into our inventory so let's add another one there then have one going down there and then one here and we have a square there and that should bypass nicely these cliffs here and I think for now we can have the oil processing in here eventually when we have landfill and cliff explosives we can add the land to uh, make this run and just have a tiny hole for for the water and that should then then we can have proper oil uh, processing down there that's the uh, other part that's that we need and basically what we need here then is um, at least for now one loading station for the uh, oil and one pickup station for the uh, uh, for the uh, uh, petroleum gas because that one we need to uh, uh, convert into um, sulfur and we need a station for uh, to get water but maybe we can have something up here basically loading station here where we take water from there uh, going to the roundabout up here and then back down and while we're at it I mean it's always beneficial if there are more than one route a train can take one route is the minimum but if uh, you have many trains on the network it can be beneficial that trains can decide where to go based on uh, which lines are blocked and by the looks of it there are quite some uh, rails laid down and what we probably also want to have is um, a bit of of an overview while we are not in the area and I am thinking radars not quite sure but I think if we place radar in one corner 
again that should be good enough for the whole square so that would mean we would need uh, one here for example and then one down there let's see if that theory holds true and then yeah in the in the minimap you can see it covers the four surrounding squares of course we have then to uh, hook up this system with the with the power up there um, but we will we will do that at the at the end uh, for now let's place some more rails all the rails the power lines and the signals are placed in at least as far as we need it for the next step so the only thing missing is actually connecting the power from this network to the one uh, here on top and in order to do that, um, we will use the blueprint again. So we can actually place the power poles right at the position where they uh, should be anyway. And uh, well, maybe not here, the one at the top, but uh, we can connect from there. And now um, I will not uh, lay out the, the rails, uh, but basically just go through here, get rid of the trees and place in the, the power poles. So we have power here and can actually uh, see what's going on thanks to the uh, radars. We have one radar here, we have one here, one here, uh, one there, and one there. Um, and that should cover most of the area. And yeah, uh, let me, let me uh, put in the wire and then we can actually see. All that's missing here is a connection here and then when you see that we can see down here uh, and it's nice overlapping just a tiny bit uh, I think that's that's a good layout and uh, I think we will call it uh, here and next time we will figure out how to mine and load all the uh, resources on two trains. So stay tuned and uh, until next time, goodbye.